We are in Carryville, Tennessee, and we are about to hike a trail called Little Egypt. Uh, we're just doing the waterfall part. We did a longer section of the trail that you go up and actually get on a bluff and stand up and look out on the area and you can see Cove Lake from the top of it. But I don't think we're going that high today, but I was going to show y'all the waterfalls today. Yeah. Oh my Here's goodness, the start of the fire. trail. Look, Ruth. You just come up There's the end fire. of a road. Uh, what's the name of it? Something hollow. What's the name of the hollow? Jesse? Jesse? Oh, um, Sheldon Hollow. Sheldon Hollow Road. You just come up the road and then there's lots of little places to park. I don't know what's up there. I haven't made it that far. I'm new here. And then you'll see all these little rocks and you just park wherever and up the trail you go. There's the creek. And there's the Grand Day Long Legs that my daughter's trying to torture. How about does he eat them? That's not a great idea. Here's the first little fall set. It's a little tiny one. And a random culvert. I think there used to be a road there. I don't really know. Lots of graffiti too. Uh, I hear you can swim in here. A lot of people do. It is really, really cold from what I understand. So we're not going to try that right now because it's... I don't know what the temperature is exactly outside right now, but it's not hot. It's not cold, but it's definitely not hot. Here's a little spot. Looks like uh, the other day we came, somebody was camping here, and there was a big pile of trash here then too. So I don't know if they left it or it could have been already but there. It looks like an awful lot to have been just the one group. So I'm thinking that it's probably a common place for people to stop. And there's the creek, the little culvert we just showed you is right there. And it's just a little path there, splits off. It's a pretty neat little spot. I really like rocks and things like that. Rock outcroppings near water, just really neat looking to me. Here comes Lovey. Lovey, you want to say hi? She likes all the little bugs and things. So, all kind of rocks and neat things to look at on the path. Coming up on another little fall. There's more of the stream. I got a minute. See, there's a little path to get down. Lots of people swim here. More rocks. And there's just a little waterfall. Um, that's far enough. Here's the top of the fall. Lots of little places to climb down and play if you're more adventurous. There's a little right here. It's a little, um, step, kind of. That's all? Uh, no, because Levy might follow. She's okay. We might explore okay. some of the little turnoffs after we make it to the top part we want to go to. Do that on the way back down. That way the kids don't get too tired before we make it to the top. No. <laughs> Mossy Rock. We came here, yeah, not yesterday, but the day before yesterday, Saturday. We came here Saturday, and we went all the way up to the top of the mountain, and there was like this big area where you like, it's like rocks you... and stuff. I can't think of it, but it was rocks, and. It, you could stand on the very edge and you could see like forever. I'm going to try to figure out how to put a picture in of that. <laughs> Cause I've got pictures. Really cool. And there was this guy up there and I get, I think he was writing a story or something. And he was reading. And it looks like that would be a really cool idea to like go there and relax. Coming up on another fall. Here's another place that would be fun to play on the rocks. A very large rock. Y'all, don't run too much on the rocks. Jesse, quit running. Fall up there. 
a long way down here in Portland. It's not a super hard hike, but as you can see, it's kind of the slope increases and there's some big rocks. So if you're kind of shuffle your feet, this might not be the trail for you. It's another neat little spot. Got a little island in the middle. That's why you can see somebody's left a little campfire with some trash on it there. Up here you can tell this was probably a creek bread or it's an overflow area. And I know there's a couple of places with little uh, natural springs. Oh, here's a neat little spot with the rocks coming on up. I don't know if I can get it so you can see that good or not. Uh, you can't tell, but there's like a lot of rocks coming down through there. Where it would drip down through there. I, I don't really remember this part yet. Right down through here would be the stream. So it stays kind of wet. So you got to watch your footing. See, you got to help the younger ones on this one. But it's really neat. Just watch your feet. Try to get a good shot over here. It gets a bit narrow here. Some children think they can do it themselves, but they really need to hold a hand. It's a bigger fall. It starts to get a little steeper about here with the big fall. This is about one of the last big falls before the bridge, which is about where we're planning on stopping today. Here the trail splits. You can go this way, and if you don't have small children, seems like fun, but we have small children, so we're gonna go this way that goes further away from the edge. We're not in Alabama. Benjamin just said, I thought mountain lions didn't exist in Alabama. Um, we're not in Alabama. Here's a little stopping spot. This is the path we took, comes over this way instead. So it's much more kind of kid friendly. The other path goes down by all this. A lot closer than we are and we're just not up to that with the small one here's the path out this is hilarious Jessie's walked on ahead and lovey's yelling at her I thought we were best friends because she's walking ahead and won't wait up on her here is the bridge I don't know what percent of the way the bridge is up the path, but it seems to be a pretty common stopping point. I don't think it is quite halfway, but the rest of the path after the bridge, it literally like zigzags back and forth and back and forth and back and forth all the way up to a bluff way on top of the mountain overlooking lots of neat stuff. And like I said, if I can make it attached pictures at the end i will try to put those in if i can't this will be the last part y'all guys see i think i found a thing on google assistant or something that i can attach them but i don't know if it'll work right but this is what they call little egypt or triple falls it's more commonly referred to as little egypt 
It is completely free. They don't even have a place that I saw to give a donation if you wanted to pay to come here. It's really neat, really pretty. And my favorite, free. Uh, lots of rocks, water. Uh, obviously there's people who camp here. I don't know if you have to have a permit for that or if that's just free. Or if, it's, uh, if they don't catch you, it's fine kind of thing. But. So definitely a place that looks fun to check out if y'all are in the Carryville, Tennessee area. It's just off the, I think it's 75 interstate. If you come up past Knoxville and then take toward Lexington, you'll find it. Uh, it is just behind Cove Lake. You guys say bye-bye?